You guys know where we're vlogging? Did you know that? I did know. Where are we vlogging on? Our house. No, we're not vlogging your house. Their dogs jump in there <laughs> and, <laughs> and get in the water and th they love it. There was a sandbox here, right? I think there was a, yeah, there was yeah, a sandbox here. So they got rid of your sandbox and put it upon upgrade? Because it, it got infested by like hornets and stuff. <laughs> Gerald, we're having a cartwheel contest. I'm out. What do you mean you're out? Damn, I look like the house guy. I'm the pond guy. You have a beautiful water feature. I love it. It's just <laughs> great. Gerald did a great job. You can hear all the dogs. Yeah. Ooh, let the dogs out. Oh, I love the moss. It's a very small pond, but it has fish, so it's very deep. Okay. Which is very different from most of the fish ponds that you see. So I'm with Gerald and Bree and Ayana and I'm Greg Witzak the Pond Guy. This is my channel, Greg Witzak the Pond Guy, and it's all about showcasing how people live the aquascape lifestyle. And sometimes people are working around our ponds. How are you doing? You have a beautiful water feature. I love it. It's just <laughs> great. Gerald did a great job. How long have you had it? We had it probably now about 30 years. Oh my gosh. So you've been living the aquascape lifestyle for a long time. We have been, yeah. But Gerald made it larger and deeper and put in the extra balls and it's just awesome. So for people that don't watch my channel, how would you describe for yourself living the aquascape lifestyle? As far as the peacefulness, uh -huh. we just love sitting out here on the patio and the sound of the water and on the fish. And usually before all of this is being cut down, you know, it's just beautiful. So you're living the aquascape lifestyle for a long time. We have and now that you worked with a certified aquascape contractor, he's yes. made it so that it's lower maintenance and it's an enjoyable hobby. Yeah, he's awesome. He's done a great job. So what did you end up doing here? We expanded it, made it bigger, we made it deeper, and we actually moved the skimmer around so that it was better, it worked better together. So it, the leaves twirled around and they go to the skimmer so that way the leaves don't fall to the bottom mm -hmm. and helps keep the water quality better that way. Great water quality. So it's fun for me when a customer has enjoyed a water feature for 30 years and then one of our certified aquascape contractors can actually improve on it, make it deeper so that they have less predatory problems, make it so that it can run year round and actually increase the enjoyment and make it lower maintenance. Who can do a better cartwheel? Okay, let's see. That was pretty good. That was pretty good too. That was kind of even. All right, here, you film me. Gerald, we're having a cartwheel contest. I'm out. What do you mean you're out? You don't throw any more. <laughs> pretty good? All right. You guys know we're vlogging? Did you know that? I did know. Where are we vlogging on? Our house. No, we're not vlogging your house. Damn, I look like the house guy. I'm the pond guy. Show us your pond. Okay. Tell us what you think of your pond first. I love coming out here and reading by it. That sounds pretty relaxing. Yeah. How long have you had it? I think it's like six years now. A while. Really nice. I love how it's right next to the patio. Do your friends like it? Yes. I'm going to guess you're older. Yes. So 18 and 16? No. I'm 17 and I'm 12. Oh my gosh. That dog is so cute. Is it a puppy? Yes. Oh my gosh. Is that the cutest thing? Curl? Dang. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy, so explain what you did here. This is an eight by eight pond, roughly. Uh -huh. It has a biofalls and a skimmer. This is probably $5,000. So this is kind of a starter pond starter kit because you got the yeah. micro yeah, filters the micro. on it. But look at how good the filters work. So yeah. this is kind of more of the do-it-yourselfer model, you know, with the net in it instead of a basket and the brush is in the back. And the same thing with the waterfall filter, but look at the water quality that you get in this. And all the fish are hiding though, huh? What happened when you came in? There was a sandbox here, right? I think there was a, yeah, there was yeah, a sandbox here. So they got rid of your sandbox and put it upon upgrade? Because it got infested by like hornets and stuff. <laughs>
<laughs> so we don't have that problem with the pond, huh? So when we put this in, the funny story is they didn't want lights in the beginning. I was like, I know they work long hours or her dad. Yeah, they be home at night. Yeah, so I was like, well, they want the lights. So I just put them in there and I was like, well, if they don't want them, I'll come back and take them out. And of course they wanted them. Yeah, yeah. She called me right away the first night that they came home and it was so hot. So is it lit up at night pretty nice? It's really cool. Where are we? This is uh, Carlisle. Oh, we're still in Carlisle, okay. So this was an interesting project. You actually decided to raise this up. Can you explain that a little bit? Actually, this was, our church holds a Hope Fall Festival and this was, I built this at our church and we auctioned off tickets for this and all the proceeds went to our church. Oh, nice. So I did this and I had it built like this and we were gonna just do it in the ground when we came here, but they were like, oh, we wanna raise it up. So I was like, well, okay. So we raised it up like that and they love it. Their dogs jump in there. <laughs> <laughs> and, they, and get in the water and th they love it. So there's just an aqua basin right down under here. A little aqua basin underneath and a little old snorkel or the old centipede down in here and a little palm pen. It's pretty simple. It stays nice and clean like this all the time. So what would an installation like this with an aquascape spillway bowl, the basin, the pump, the plumbing, all of the rock work, what would that uh, entail so from? the wall and everything, it's, you're probably looking about five, 6,000, somewhere in that area. So not bad for a pretty big yeah. impact in a space. Yeah, I mean, they love it. They spend a ton of time out here. Look at how nice this moss is. It's just so cool. Look at how much interest is going on. Just the different sounds, the different layers. You got driftwood in here, the moss in here, the spillway. So much character in such a small space. And this entire thing is probably six foot by six foot or so, huh? I think it's eight by eight. Okay, so eight foot area by eight foot area. And look at the impact that you can have in this. Yeah. You could fit this in your yard anywhere almost. 